Sculpture Key West is celebrating its 18th year. In honor of it, they are inviting artists from all over the world here to Key West. I'll be talking with one of them this morning. Now, the artists are challenged to create outdoor works that respond and interact with the tropical environment. Joel, it is a pleasure to have you here with me today. Thank you for joining me. Now, I understand, Joel, that you have lived all over the world right now. You're based in Philly. Can you share some of the places that you've spent your life with us this morning? Sure. Uh, well, I was born in Portugal to American parents, and I've lived in uh, Seattle and Boston and Romania and um, Alaska and San Diego and Mozambique and um, part of the part of my childhood where I did um, some of my favorite moments were in the Azores Islands and so it's quite at home for me to be here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And now Joel I do understand that this is your first time in Key West. You were mentioning to me earlier that you did come to Key Largo when you were younger but never Key West, so are you loving it here so far? I think that the artist community is a spectacular, wonderful, warm community. It's been a real pleasure and I've enjoyed meeting people, um, mm -hmm. yeah. And you've even been inspired by some of the artists that we have right here on the island. Yeah, a warm welcome from Adam Russell from Key West Pottery and the friends at Coast Projects, Billy and Ryan and uh, Cayman and Billy. Mm -hmm. Now, Joel, you were brought down here by Sculpture Key West. Let's talk about your project, Conch Republic. Well, Conch Republic is a series of conchs, much like the name implies. Um, it's a Florida fighting conch, a horse conch, and a lucky left-handed conch. And they were digitally designed, and then they were manufactured using a shot bot, which is a type of robot. Um, and essentially it's a computer-assisted design, computer-assisted manufacture. Um, so we're basically importing into sculpture um, a technique used by architects and industrial designers. And the material that it was made with is a, a type of nanomaterial that has a titanium oxide layer. Um, it's called TX Active and it was made by Italian chemists and it's um, a smog eating cement. A smog eating cement, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Never heard of that before. So. It's just coming out. It's <laughs> very fun and innovative, and uh, we have a lot of hope for it. Wonderful. Now, Joel, how long did this take you to complete? Well, uh, from laser scanning until the time when we were on the machine, um, it took about two and a half weeks of constant work um, of machine hours and uh, then the casting itself took the better part of another week. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you do all the time, Joel. You travel throughout the country and you do different site-specific sculptures. That's correct. Right now we're working on a, a neat sculpture for a high school in Vancouver, Washington mm -hmm. and a mobile for a hospital in D.C. Joel, I understand that you do a lot of collaboration with your wife. Did she have uh, her hand in this project too? She really did. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, people wonder how can two people work as an artist team, but I say it's, it's very important for me as, as well as for her, I think, to be able to see um, something come, come into uh, fruition. And um, in some cases, it's indispensable to have another person mm -hmm. working on this job. So no fighting between the two of you? I'd say <laughs> that it's a, it's a wonderful uh, co-creation through conflict occasionally. Okay, that's good. And now you guys do a lot of different mediums, Joel. Talk about that with us this morning. Well, um, originally it was clay and then plaster and then we started to get into cast bronze, uh, direct metal, uh, steel, aluminum. Um, yeah, you could say that we work in a lot of materials, but 
probably some of our favorites are tensile fabric and um, I, I really like advanced concrete. Now, Joel, you were talking with us about all the places you've lived throughout your life. Each move, has that impacted your art? It really has. Um, for example, in Portugal, wherever you go, you see age-old Roman ruins, um, aqueducts, and you know pavement systems that are mosaics that are thousands of years old. And when I went to the other end of the Roman Empire and um, studied art under um, students of Constantine Brancusi, uh, you really get to see a different type of, um, of sculpture emerging. Mm -hmm. How fortunate you've been to have some of the experiences that you've had. Are you planning on coming back to Key West anytime soon? I can't wait. I have my return <laughs> ticket booked. Well, wonderful. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with you this morning. And tell our viewers again where they can see your project, The Conch Republic, located. The Key West Garden Club, located at uh, West Martello on Higgs Beach, is the place where you'll see uh, art by over a dozen sculptors from all over the country. And uh, our work is situated on the beach. And uh, look for it. Wonderful. I look forward to seeing it in person. Joel, thank you again for being on with me this morning. And thank you for tuning in and joining me. I hope that you have a great rest of the day. I'll be right back here tomorrow, everyone. Take care.